So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here and today I wanted to do a quick video showing you how to add storage and adapt storage to your new Amazon Fire TV 4K Max. So the main difference between the two when you add storage, you basically have a drive that you can plug into your Fire Stick then plug it into another device, put content on there, plug it back into your Fire Stick then you can read and view your content that way. Now when you adapt storage, the storage becomes a part of the Fire TV Stick. And what that means is that certain applications that are compatible will install directly on it. So once you adapt storage, you can no longer use that drive on any other devices besides that Fire Stick. So two key distinctions there, so definitely keep that in mind. So the things that you'll need, you'll need a hard drive, you'll also need a Fire Stick, of course, you'll need an OTG adapter, and um, there are different kinds, and I'll link a couple in the description of this video. So the drive that I'm using is a 256 gigabyte hard drive. Now here's a look at the OTG adapter. Like I said, there are two different kinds. Uh, this one is uh, gonna plug in directly to the Fire Stick. Uh, this is the micro USB that's gonna go into the Fire Stick leaves you the power port right here where you plug your fire stick power into it and now this usb port becomes free for you to plug in that hard drive besides that the rest is self-explanatory so let's go ahead and get it set up so first thing i'm going to do is grab the fire stick grab the otg adapter line it up plug it in like this all right so Here's what it looks like. Like I said, some of the OTG adapters, they're not connected to the Fire Stick here. They do have a cable which, um, which allows you more flexibility. Like I said, I'll link both in the description. Next, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our hard drive. Hard drive plugged into the Fire Stick. And now what we need to do is connect the USB, connect the HDMI, and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and do that. So just a quick look at how everything's set up. Like I said, uh, with this, you do have flexibility of kind of hanging it where you want it. So got it all set up and for the most part, you wanna try to format this drive as FAT32 or EFAX if you have that option. So depending on the size, uh, you wanna have that one of those formats. If you have NTFS, it might not recognize it. So let's go ahead and we'll just plug it in. And we'll give it a second. We should see the LED on the hard drive light up. And then you'll see a pop up with the Fire Stick just asking you what you want to do exactly. So for this is asking me, do I want to do external storage, device storage, or do nothing? So like I explained a little bit earlier, guys, external storage means that you can move it from device to device, put your content, put your files on there, and should be able to read it from the Fire Stick. If you format it as device storage, remember it has to stay with this Fire Stick because key applications will be installed directly. So for this scenario, I'm just gonna leave it as device storage. Wanna just make the Fire Stick have a larger drive. Then we're gonna install everything and just kind of see how it performs. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and select device storage. So it's gonna tell you that all content is gonna be erased. Click yes. Your Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K is formatting your USB drive. So this could take a couple minutes. So what I'll do is I'll fast forward the video and I'll come back when it's all done. Your USB drive has been formatted. You can now use your USB drive to transfer data to the Fire Stick 4K Max. So now when you go to your settings, I'm gonna go down to my Fire TV. You go in the about section, go to storage, you'll see both drives right there, but also you have the option if you go back, go to USB drive, and you have a couple options here. You can eject the USB drive, you can format to external drive, or you can manage installed applications. So right now we don't have any apps installed, so we're gonna install a couple just to see which applications will go on this device. So let's go to our app store. All right, so let's go back to our set and see if anything changed. So we're gonna go to my Fire TV again. We're still on the USB drive. And you can see we do have a couple apps installed, so let me go back. So on the About section, if you go to Storage, you can see both drives right there. It does list the external drive versus the internal drive. You go back and go to USB, 
you have those USB options still. So you can eject it, you can format to external, which is what I explained a little bit earlier, or you can go to manage install applications and you can see which apps actually install to your external drive. So like I said before, keep in mind that not all applications are gonna install to this drive right here. Some apps are still required to be installed on your Fire Stick, but if you look here, you can see that pretty good that it's taking up those apps that seem like it's gonna take a lot of storage. So two racing games are on here. You do have options. If you click on that, you have the option to move to internal storage. You can launch the application, four stop, uninstall, clear cache, and clear data. So a lot of options here. I love that Amazon did include that in their update uh, a couple months back. They weren't always able to adapt storage on the Fire Stick, so good move by Amazon. So like I said, this is a quick video showing you how to add storage to your Amazon Fire Stick. This should work for any version of your Fire Stick, including your Fire TV Cube as well. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.